Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for 10 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 25th of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SSG Affairs and ECM Ensemble. So you're going to try to get weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks and that gets us. Uh, well, in today, actually, I shall get over that for you in a moment. Just say that first a video today was our 6M UK weather forecast. So please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Uh, well, there's only that one, this one. Um, but please like, share, and subscribe on all videos and content. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. We're hovering around 18.1k. I think we've just about made it, 18.1k, but it'll only take like. Um, you know, uh, one or two subs either way to take us back to 18k or to lift us up to 18.1k. So, so we're there, thereabouts. Please give us a sub. Get us firmly into 18.1k, our first 100 within 18k. You could do that. Be amazing. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Hope you're having a lovely Monday as well. Okay, let's have a look there. We're going to start off with searching temperature. So, VCT is uh, now sitting at 11.4. That's 3.5 degrees above 61 to 99 average. That is provisional to yesterday, to the 14th of uh, April. So, very mild, warm start to uh, April 1st after, but going to be in the 11s for the first half of uh, April. Probably ticking back down into the 10s, though, over the next few days. These are the 500 millibar height and only flow charts from Penn State University for the next week's 10 days. We've got the ECM WF on the top and the GFS, which we will have a look at in a moment, is on the bottom. So 500 millibar, 18 pounds feet, is an area in the actual high pressure and low pressure are being moved around by the jet stream running above. Red extrapolates to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. So the ECM has a large area of high pressure close to the country in the 7 to 10 day time frame. It is a little bit, so it will be dry, that's the first thing you get on the table. Um, it is a little bit displaced by our northwest, so which probably brings the wind in from like a northeasterly. So a little bit on the cold, well not cold, but a little bit on the chilly side uh, with that uh, position of the high pressure. But the main thing is that it's drying out. The GFS has the high pressure even further north and northwest. So it's more of a mid-Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland, like a sort of a blocking thing. And a trough of low pressure is over Denmark and southern parts of uh, Sweden and Norway. And that will bring the wind in more from the north and from the northeast, if anything. Could be a little bit showery, especially for eastern regions, but it should be reasonably dry, particularly so in the north and west. They are both looking quite cool, I have to say in the 7 to 10 day time frame. So it looks as though we're going to continue to bring in relatively cool air from uh, northern regions, albeit will be quite dry. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. These are GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks. We're at Glasgow, temporary time in the 30 year upper air temperature average for Glasgow. So you got below average at the moment. And to stay in that way for the next few days. We only get a bit of a tick up in the upper air temperatures at the end of the week into the weekend. And then next week, probably dropping those upper air temperatures away again, at least for a time. So overall, looking relatively cool there. And nowhere near as wet as it has been. We have had some very wet weather today, of course. We're going to be drying out through the middle part of this coming week. Plus a little bit showery over the weekend and into next week could be a bit showery as well. But again, that is a significantly drier ensemble graph than we've seen for quite some time. Won't be completely dry, there will be some showery conditions at times, but overall that is looking a lot drier. Temperature anomalies are 15th, 23rd of April. Coming out just a little bit below average. Most parts of Europe looking quite chilly as well, it has to be said. Precipitation anomalies largely on the drive and average size. So, as I say, this is quite a big change to what I've had over the past few weeks and months. Ladies and that from EarthNoldSchool.net shows that we're turning the wind into the northwest today. So, that's bringing cooler air down, uh, of course, and will eventually turn that wind into a proper old northerly when we get through to uh, tomorrow. Okay, let's start going through the chart data then. Let's have the latest UK Met Europe. Red looking big night on Thursday. High pressure out to west, low pressure to the east. I would bring in the wind from quite a cool westy direction. This flow sort of sinks down the eastern side of the country. Yeah, that's a bit of a change. That could bring 
further showering conditions to eastern regions in particular. Um, then high pressure building in from the west as we get through into the weekend. Should bring a lot of dry weather in with it, but it could be quite cold under that area of high pressure by night. And we end up by midnight next Monday, 22nd of April, starting to take high pressure away towards the northwest again and pulling in more of an easy wind. It's certainly looking more anti cyclone, it's certainly looking drier, but don't by any means be expecting a heat wave for position of this high always keeps us on the cool side of it with winds coming from the north or a northeasterly direction. Okay, I can't. Again, has uh, northwest winds for Thursday. And then low pressure in the North Sea on Friday could bring showery conditions to eastern areas. High pressure building in from the Atlantic at the weekend. It's been quite a bit of dry weather in with it. High pressure sticking around close to the country to Monday the 22nd of April. Could be a little bit showery for east and southeast regions, but again, it should be mostly dry under that uh, anti-cyclone. Excuse me, once more. Right, okay, we've got the uh, KMA showing high pressure out to the west on uh, Thursday with low pressure in the North Sea. Could be showery for eastern regions. Into the weekend, high pressure comes moving in across the country. It should be mostly dry under that high. And then the highs next week starting to pull away from us into the Atlantic, returning us back to a northerly flow maybe by the 27th of April. Long way out, but a suggestion there definitely about be keeping it relatively cool, really. And they've got GFS output looking much of a much this for Thursday. Um, into the weekend, again, high pressure building through the country. Should be quite a nice weekend, I think. Mostly dry. Should be sunny spells. Probably quite cold at night, but by day, I would imagine there will be a fair amount of uh, sunshine to make it feel pleasant, at the very least. Uh, into next week, that high pressure then goes into retrograde. So that pushes up towards Greenland and Iceland with low pressure across uh, southern parts of Sweden and Norway. So as from the 500 mil of our high to non approach up, that starts to turn the wind back into the north as we get through to the sort of days 8, 9, 10. Um, and we go to more set as well. Under that blocking area of high pressure, low pressure starts to develop. Um, oh, oh dear, that starts to uh, turn things more unsettled with below. Uh, maybe bring some quite wet weather, particularly so to England and Wales there. That's not very good, is it? <laughs> We're under a trough by the 27th of April, so back to uh, quite mixed weather um, indeed. And we head out beyond that, and again, low pressure sort of sitting underneath a blocking area. High pressure, that's how we end up with GFS Midnight Run. <laughs> Excuse me, once more, low pressure south and high pressure blocking around Greenland and uh, Iceland as well. This low could bring some quite wet weather with it at times. Oh dear. <laughs> so dry up to day 10 and then we're back to unsettled weather with a big night run. What about the GFS 6 then? Again, we're on uh, Thursday, we've got high pressure out to our west, winds coming in northwestern direction into the weekend. The high pressure that forms over the country should be quite pleasant this weekend. Next week, start to take high pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland, lowering the heights underneath it. So as you head towards eight days, eight on term, turns uh, certainly colder with winds in from the north and rather showering also, and then again, the 6 that is also bringing low pressure back into play uh, just beyond day 10. So, uh, oh dear, well, <laughs> let's not worry too much about that, but the GFS definitely wobbling on any uh, on any suggestion of, um, you know, a lot of uh, dry weather. Um, so it is drier, it has to be said, over next week, up to around days 8 and, or 9, and then it's like to turn more unsettled. That gets us to the 1st of May, by the way, May Day. And uh, still looking rather unsettled with low pressure just to our southwest. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Make sure you show everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and so with me that we sent all of our videos and content. And don't get to tell friends about Gals well. Gals well, Vince. We thank you so everyone for doing that. We, um, uh, we are around 18.1k, you know, one or two on either side of it at the moment. So please give us a sub and it gets definitively and firmly into uh, 18,100 subscribers. Thank you so much. Okay, GM again with high pressure out to west, low pressure east on Thursday. Winds from northwest direction, high pressure sinks down north on Friday, could bring showing conditions to the east. And then the high pressure back in from the Atlantic as we go through. 
uh, Saturday and Sunday. High pressure then pulls away to our west into the early part of next week. Winds coming in from more of a northerly direction, heading up towards day 10. <coughs> we take the high pressure up towards Green Iceland, low pressure to the North Sea. Winds coming in from a cool, maybe uh, quite cold, northeasterly direction by day 10, 25th of April, cooler and showery once more. And then the east um, looks like that. So once again, we're building that high pressure in over the weekend into next week. So I take the high pressure, or try to get the high pressure to Scandinavia on Monday, but it just sort of stick, sits around the country. Uh, around days 8, 9, 10. Eventually, by day 10, the high pressure starts to drift out into the Atlantic, probably signed, but it begins to uh, rather showery uh, around day 10, 25th of April. Although, not as, um, not as much so, not uh, much less so than like the GFS output. This weather precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tobetshow.com, all of the wet weather clearing out of the way. Um, this afternoon, and we're left with showers into the northwest, and both will be wintering over high ground up in the north. Um, no shower conditions continuing over the uh, next day or two as well. Then high pressure killing off a lot of those showers as we get through the second half week. Will be still be some rainbow in the north and in the northeast. Uh, okay, we're getting to the weekend. High pressure back in control of the weather. Again, not completely dry, some shower docking around, but the emphasis is shifting to drier conditions for the weekend. And into next week, we've got wind in from the northeast, so a few showers in eastern and southern regions. But again, still quite a bit of dry weather up to day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10. The Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 25th of April. 15 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure. <coughs> And so, sorry, once again, high pressure up to uh, the north, low pressure is to the south, and winds coming in from an east or a northeasterly direction. So, a little bit showery and rather cool at day 10. About 11 with high pressure over and to the west of the coast. Again, should be quite a bit of dry weather with that, could be a little bit on the cool side, but we've got 10 with high pressure uh, further north, low pressure to the north sea. The winds are coming in from the north east direction, rather cool and showery. We've got another 10 with the high pressure dominating weather, mostly dry with that. And 5 looking very unsettled, low pressure to the north sea, high pressure blocking way to the north. And of course, that's going to be quite chilly, uh, maybe cold and wet with that one. Most of the options there are still involving high pressure, but I have to say, a lot of them have that high pressure in a position to not only be cool, but potentially br be bringing in uh, a trough, you know, either to the south or to the east. So it could be rather showery. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 30th of April. 13 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure way to the north. Things low pressure is out in the Atlantic. So a little bit on the showery side, potentially, with that. 10 with high pressure blocking way to the north. Low pressure down towards Biscay. Um, uh, again, you know, probably quite dry, but could be a bit showery. Some regions. Uh, we have got another 10 here, though, that has us right under high pressure. That should be mostly dry. With that, and then we've got nine down here with high pressure just to the north of Scott. Again, mainly dry uh, with that one, and nine having having us under a trough of low pressure with a mid Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland. So lots of high pressure influences there with those options for both day ten and day fourteen. But the devil is in the detail with this anticyclonic conditions. You know, coming back definitely. Um, but the devil's in the detail in terms of where that high pressure is sitting, always a critical factor. That will determine how, how uh, the temperature performs, and it will determine whether we still have to put up with showery conditions as well. CFS V2 finally beats a 500 millibar high tide bring down week periods. The first week period takes us from the 15th, 21st of April. High pressure out to the west, low pressure is away to the east, winds coming in from a northwesterly direction, so rather well, dry weather, some shy conditions in the east, and temperatures a bit on the cool side. Week 2 will be the 22nd, 28th of April, low pressure to our south and east, high pressure out in the Atlantic, again winds coming in from a northeast direction, unsettled and potentially quite cold as well, certainly chilly. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 29th of April to the 5th of May, with high pressure away to the northwest, low pressure 
is to the inks and winds are coming in from a north and silly direction. I got on somebody's nerves with that, I noticed in the comments. Um, I think it's yesterday or the day before. <laughs> Somebody, um, like I said, tried to say free, free without being silly. So there you go, that person, week free. There we go, but I prefer to say week free. Because <laughs> nobody does it like Gab, you see. Nobody does it like Gab. <laughs> Uh, and finally, anyway, I'm on tangent, finally week four, but sorry to that person who, who I'm annoying. Um, week four, it's the 6th to the 12th of May, with uh, <laughs> high pressure, I'll get myself into trouble, high pressure to the north, and the winds are coming in from an easterly uh, direction with that. This white area is just weaker pressure, and might, in the end, in reality, fill up with a trough. We'd have to wait and see. But the model is actually placing the trough down across, like, southeastern Europe, really. So, Balkans and, and southern Italy and, uh, and, and um, Greece, Turkey, etc., etc. Um, but, but in reality, you know, in the end, this white area could fill up with a trough. So, let's put in... Uh, a question mark, because that high pressure is quite a long way to north. But as it's four weeks away, it's not worth worrying about. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. But show show for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't get to tell friends about gas, whether it's tell them that nobody does it like Gav. Um, and thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, just tell us having on channel tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 m UK weather forecast. We've got the Exceed European Outlook and the Big Days 14 there as well. So the content keeps on coming. Please uh, keep checking back for more. But for this video and for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.